Surface Mount Technology, or SMT, is a process of mounting electrical components directly onto the PCB surface. The components assembled using surface mount technology are known as surface mount devices, or SMD. SMT allows ease of automation, higher component densities, and lesser manufacturing cost compared to through-hole components. Errors that can occur during the SMT process include solder bridging, tombstoning, insufficient solder joints, component spacing error, cold solder joint, solder beating, non-wetting, solder balling, and component shorting. Solder bridging occurs when solder is deposited across two conductors that should not be electrically connected. This can lead to electrical shorts. Excess solder paste deposition and placement inaccuracy are the causes of this issue. You can avoid this by maintaining the right solder paste metal to flex weight ratio, an appropriate reflow profile, and accurate component placement. Insufficient solder joint separates two electrically connected points, causing an open circuit. Inaccurate solder paste printing, less solder paste on the joints, and component lead coplanarity can lead to insufficient solder joint formation. You can resolve this by correcting the aspect ratio, controlling the environmental conditions, and investigating coplanarity. Solder balling is the development of very tiny spherical particles of solder isolated from the main body and forming a joint. Moisture contamination of solder paste, lack of proper reflow profile, and poor solder paste printing alignment can cause solder balling. This can be avoided using coarse powder size, proper reflow process, and ensuring print alignment. Tombstoning, or the Manhattan Effect, occurs when a chip component is partially or entirely pulled off from the pad into a vertical position with one end soldered. Uneven heating, varying heat sinks, and insufficient adhesive force of the solder paste contribute to tombstoning. To mitigate this, ensure the component covers at least 50% of both pads, place components accurately, and maintain a high preheat temperature. Non-wetting happens when the fluid solder does not adhere adequately to component leads or pads. Poor surface finish, excessive soaking time in the reflow process, and insufficient heat for flux activation can cause non-wetting issues. This can be prevented by adopting a better quality metal surface finish, reducing total profiling time, and selecting a proper flux for soldering. Solder beating is the formation of bigger solder balls near discrete components placed closely. Excessive solder paste deposition, flux outgassing, and increased component density can lead to solder beating. You can avoid this by reducing the stencil thickness or aperture dimension and lowering the component pick and place pressure. Component shorting happens when the amount of solder paste deposited at the printer station is much less than the stencil opening. After reflow, insufficient solder forms a fillet at the component leads. This issue is caused by a blocked stencil aperture, excessive pressure, and speed applied to the squeegee blade, and low viscosity solder paste. You can avoid this issue by checking the squeegee blade pressure and speed and regularly cleaning the stencil. The last defect on the list is the cold solder joint. Here, solder connections exhibit poor wetting and have a grayish porous appearance after soldering. This can happen due to insufficient heat absorbed by the solder and too many impurities in the solder solution. Possible solutions are maintaining a high reflow temperature, avoiding movement of the assembly during or after reflow, and performing alloy analysis to identify contaminants. By preventing these eight errors, you can increase the SMT manufacturing efficiency and streamline the PCB assembly process.